Gamerman, hey Sean, what are your thoughts on HBO rebooting Harry Potter? I don't know if this is a good idea considering the Harry Potter aren't even that old and a lot of us thought they are perfectly cast. Okay, so what do I think about them rebooting Harry Potter? This was kind of leaked, rumored, reported not too long ago that s some buddy let it out that they're looking to do more Harry Potters. And in the comments, when I talked about it on one of these live streams, someone proposed, what if they did seven seasons, each season is a book. And I believe in that video, I said, if that's what they're looking to do, I don't think it's a good idea, but that's probably the way to do it because you can do something new and different. Uh, it, it, it doesn't just feel like we're rehashing something that that's already worked. On one thought on this, you said, I don't know that it's a good idea. It, it They're not that old. To an extent, that's true. In another extent, the first movies came out 20 years ago. 20 years ago is a long time. So in that sense, if you think about how many versions of Spider-Man we've had in the last 20 years, actually like four throw in Spider-Verse. How many Batman have we had in the last 20 years? How many Harry Potters? One. It's a little bit different because Harry Potter is a specific story as opposed to characters. There, that's a big difference. Harry Potter, you're telling the same story again versus having new stories with Batman, a new Batman. They are different. But it's been 20 years. That is a long time. Counterbalance that Kids don't care at all. I have three kids under the age of 10. Well, one is 10 and she's almost 11. He turns 11 in less than a week. He goes into middle school next year. I'm getting old. Three kids, 10 and under. They do not care that Harry Potter is 20 years old. They've aged perfectly fine. Even the dated CGI, that's the most dated things about those movies. Some of the CGI, they look a little bit like PlayStation 2 cut scenes when they're doing like Quidditch and stuff. It's certain shots when they're on the broomsticks. That's it. Everything else, they've aged wonderfully. And so that's really where it comes to mind of like, there's no point in remaking them in film form in the same way again because... They have not aged out. There's nothing new to bring to the table. It's a story set in a pocket world it, of Hogwarts. This wizarding world in Hogwarts. It's not pop culture stuff. It's not culturally relevant and commenting on society, modern technology. It's not commenting on things. It's a pocket little fantasy story at Hogwarts. And besides a couple CGI shots, it's, it's it's perfectly fine. There's nothing new you can bring to the table to make it better. It's beloved. At least the early ones, there's nothing new because the books were short enough that they translate really well into two hour and 20 minute long films. However, when you start getting into the movies past, I guess the third book, the books start getting a lot longer. And so even as someone that hasn't even read books five, six, and seven yet, I could watch some of those ones. Like Order of the Phoenix, like I'm watching it like they're very obviously montaging through an enormous amount of content. And then I believe my wife, who is a Harry Potter fanatic, I believe that um, Half-Blood Prince is her favorite book and her least favorite movie because there's too much. And they just had to trim it down so much that what works in the book doesn't work in the movie because it's so condensed. That's where I start to think this concept of what if you take the books, make them into seasons. That's kind of interesting because it's no longer each book is a two and a half an hour long film. It's now a 10 hour long season, I'd imagine. Eight hour long seasons. It's, what norm, it's probably going to be something like that. In which case, the early books, they probably add a lot of material. And there's some license taken to expand upon it to put some things in there and build out this episodic uh, adventures in the early nature of the stories. 
when you get into the later books that were dramatically longer, you can finally fully adapt them and not have to trim a bunch of things and montage through a bunch of things. That's kind of interesting. There's value in that. Do I actually, like, is it what I would recommend that they do? Probably not. Because the original films are too beloved and they've aged wonderfully. No one is complaining about how dated they are at all. Not one, one bit. In which case, as soon as you adapt them, you start making people mad. And so, you know, um, if you're going to remake Harry Potter, making it for HBO as seasons is the way to go. Actually, the final thing to throw in here, HBO makes great shows. They have an incredible track record. Generally speaking, HBO has done these mature shows that are very much for adults. But we are now at a point in time where they've been making amazing prestige television for 20 years. So when you hear they are going to adapt the books, it's the channel, it's the streaming service that makes prestige television with a track record. Not that, I mean, they've had their missteps, but they have a fantastic track record. If you just base it off of, oh, why are we doing this again? I get, I gotcha. But the people that are doing it again have a great, great track record. It's not what I would recommend that they do, but if you're going to do it, make it seasons. That's the way to go. And you can bring something new to the table because of that. And it's a network with a fantastic track record. Most of these clips are pulled from my weekly Patreon live stream. Join at any level and you can join the chat and ask all the questions you want. That's for as little as $2 per month. For $5 per month, you can get your name on my end card. For $25 per month, you can have a monthly video chat with me. Link is in the description for more details and keep talking movies and TV too much.